It's everythingkitchens.com. My name is Chef Austin, and today we're going to be unboxing something really cool. This is the Phelps Pasta Maker. I'm really excited about this because it takes all the hard work out of making pasta, just does it automatically, and I'm just going to unbox this, and we're going to get right into it. Let's see what we got inside the box. So my favorite thing to start out with is the manual. So we've got our black and white manual right here. It's got the warranty information, all the pieces and parts in here, of uh, how to assemble it, what to do. So this one's black and white. I like that they also included a nice colorful one. So this is a full color booklet of how to start making pasta and it even has some nice recipes in here. So look how beautiful that is. So I'm excited to make some beautiful pasta with this guy. And what else we got here? Uh, and we've got the incredibly uh, condensed one-page version of the instruction manual, too. So it's nice that they have a bunch of these for you. What else we got here? We have some measuring cups right here. And uh, this one is your liquid measuring cup. So you can add eggs and water in here, and it tells you where to fill it up to on these lines. And uh, just pro tip, when you're adding eggs and water, be sure to add the whole egg first then add your water and measure up to the line and then whisk it. If you whisk your eggs first, that's going to give you extra volume and your pasta might not turn out properly. You need exact measurements. And we've got a toothbrush. So this is for after you eat your pasta, keep your teeth clean. No, it's for cleaning the machine. So there's some bristles in here to get into all of these guys. And these are the pasta dies themselves. So this is the fettuccine die. So that's your flat fettuccine noodles. We've also got a panne. So this is for those long tubular noodles. And installed is the spaghetti noodle die. All right, and then the last thing we have is the actual pasta maker itself. So it came assembled like this. So we're going to check this out. We're going to get some flour, some eggs in here. We're going to make some pasta. All right, like any new appliance, we wash this guy with soap and water. So that's why he's all disassembled right there. So pro tip from Chef Austin, please wash your new stuff. This guy's very easy to set up and install. We've got the auger right here, and we've got the feed tube right here. So we're going to just install it just like this. And then we've got our mixing and eating paddle. We're going to put him into our mixing container. And you kind of just slide that right into there until the gear shaft pushes into place. And you might have to turn the auger just a little bit to get that gear shaft to go into the main gear drive over here. And then we're going to choose our pasta die. So I've got the spaghetti right here, but you might be asking where the other dies go. There is a cool storage container on the bottom here that will hold your other two pasta dies right there. So that's going to slide right back in here. We're going to make some spaghetti first. And you're going to notice it's a small triangle right here, and you're going to line this up with the top notch of the auger tube. And there's a number two up here. And then last, we're going to install this tightening cap over everything, and this just screws on. And just hand tighten that, don't over tighten that, that could break it. And then now we're ready to make pasta, so all we need to do is add our ingredients and turn this guy on. We're going to add 200 grams of flour, which is this one measuring cup right here, so it's almost to the tippy top. I measured with the scale. Into here. And we're going to put the lid on, and we're going to turn this guy on. We're going to turn it to auto. We're going to press the play button, and then we're going to slowly add our egg and water mixture. So this lid is actually gently pouring this liquid onto the flour so nothing gets overhydrated all at once. And in about two to three minutes, it's gonna start extruding pasta. All the work is done for you. So this is like watching the laundry machine at the laundromat, it, but it's more fun because you're gonna eat pasta at the end of it instead of having clean laundry.
So on the auto function, it stopped for a second, and then it changed gears and went in reverse, and that's when it started to extrude all the pasta. So you can see we're getting a really nice nest of spaghetti. Ooh, it's kind of warm too, that's fun. So I'm gonna say this is, this is a pretty good length. I'm going to slice it off with our slicing tool. And we're going to just lay him out and we'll make some more pasta. Look at all this pasta. Look at the spaghetti. And I'm going to flour the spaghetti just a little bit so it doesn't stick together. While our other pasta extrudes. Oh yeah, look at that spaghetti. Make a nice little spaghetti nest and we'll cut this guy off. So we just heard those audible beeps at the end. That means that the auto cycle is complete. Now, if you notice there's a little bit of dough left in there, you can turn this dial on the top to this plus button, and that's just a non-automated cycle that's just gonna push out anything that's left in the machine. So let's take a closer look at these noodles. You can see that we've got nice individual strands. I floured these so they wouldn't stick together, but these are nice firm noodles. They're not like too wet or like anything like that. So when you boil these, these are gonna stay together. They've got like a nice thickness for spaghetti. I think that's the appropriate dye. I think Phillips did a great job. And just watching this was really, really, it made me feel like this was a very smart machine because it would go forward and back, forward and back, trying to get as much of your dough into spaghetti as possible. And I just really appreciate that, that Phillips really thought about the end user and they want them to have a great, easy experience making pasta. What I really like about the Phillips is that this is mimicking a commercial piece of equipment. So I've used giant pasta machines this big, same technology. It's got a big auger in the middle and it's extruding the pasta. This is just the countertop equivalent. So guys, if you have friends or family members who love making pasta that don't have the time, this cut down pasta making to like, I mean, we've made pasta in like 20 minutes start to finish that it was including cleaning it from the new box. So Phillips has really impressed me. Guys, this is a perfect gift for any family member. Don't tell my wife about it because she'll want one as soon as she sees this. And I, like, again, the quality of this pasta is really well. It's really, really strong pasta. And I can't wait to make some. So I'm going to make some carbonara and we'll see you guys next time.